bit of politics now. A Georgia judge has dismissed six of the 41 counts in the wide-ranging racketeering case against former President Donald Trump. This all stems from Trump's alleged attempts at overturning the 2020 presidential election. The dropped charges have to do with asking elected officials to violate their oaths of office, citing a violation of the Constitution. The judge saying that part of the case is simply too broad for the defendants to prepare their own defense. So let's dive into this here tonight's Making the Case. We are joined by attorney and former judge Charles Adams. So Charles, what do you make of this? Well, this was, Anthony, this was a perfunctory motion. It's a special demurrer in Georgia where an attorney argues that his client can't be charged because of a fundamental failure in the charging instrument, the indictment, the pleading. You file these types of motions all the time, they're never granted. But we also have these crimes that have never been prosecuted before. And Judge McAfee decided that they failed to note what provision of the Constitution that they were being solicited to violate. Now they're open to repleting, and he went out of his way to make clear that this has no impact on the racketeering charges, and he will still allow all evidence from these allegations to be admitted to the jury when a trial eventually occurs. All right, so if he says it's too broad, uh, what I'm hearing is you're saying that they can appeal if they narrow the scope. The state has the option to appeal. I do not think Fannie Willis's office will appeal it because that will effectively delay this trial for probably up to a year, right? So I think she will push forward without these charges because it's very clear that both in New York and in Georgia and in the two federal cases, the goal is to get him prosecuted and tried before the coming election. Okay, and you just mentioned there the DA, Fonnie Willis. Um, she, too, also has a court case there in Fulton County, that judge presiding over that ethics violation, you allege ethics violation there. So could that ruling play a part in how she perceived could move forward with that case, even if she's on it? So Judge McAfee is also making that decision. He has promised to render down an order on the disqualification motion by the end of the week. And I would be surprised if she isn't disqualified, which will mm. also delay the case. But it's very clear that she lied to the court about her affair with the subordinate colleague who she hired, who was married at the time. So it, it's become something of a patent place. And the focus, if she stays on, will be on her behavior and not the former president's behavior, which is what the prosecutors really want. Okay, one quick last question, you guys. Now, if she is found guilty in this case, does her entire team have to be removed from this case against Trump, or can someone else pick up where she left off? Well, she won't be found guilty. She'll just be disqualified. I think okay. the disqualification will go to her and her boyfriend, right? But I think clearly that office can continue, but what they would most likely do is name a special prosecutor who would in fact have his own staff and would result in tremendous more costs after a whole lot of costs for a prosecution of a crime that has never been prosecuted mm. before. We are in very interesting times in America, and it'll be something we should all pay attention to. All right, thank you so much for your insight. Much appreciated.